Hi everyone and welcome back. Hope all is well. Yes, I'm doing an introduction here. Okay. Hope all is well and um, happy New Year's, guys. So on today's video, we're going to make a nice old school biryani, a beef biryani. Let's see how it goes. And um, Iman, you want to say something? No. No. Okay. She's shy. Let's roll the intro. decided to go home back to Norway and immigration stopped him and now I think he's in prison somewhere. I ain't got a clue, I really don't know. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So, uh, before I start marinating and spicing up the, the beef, um, Oram the helper, I don't know where he is. Um, as I mentioned before, he's gone to uh, Norway and he never returned. But I've got a new helper, and the person's here right now, and she wants to help me out. So let's say hello to her. Do you want to help me out? No. You don't want to help me out? No. I thought you said you're gonna help me. No. No. Didn't you say you're gonna help your dad? No. Why not? I'm bored. You're bored. Yeah. That's good then, isn't it? Then come and help me. Shall I teach you how to cut onions? No? No. So you want daddy to do it all by himself? No. Yeah, okay. okay. Say bye bye. Let's now mix it up. So here it is, um, all marinated and spiced up. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for at least an hour. Um, now I'm gonna do the boring parts. Yes, darling? You wanna get down? Okay. Now I'm just gonna cut the onions and everything else. So I've cut the onions, I gave around three onions, cut them into nice uh, small pieces. Here is my ginger and um, chilies. I gave around five chilies. I want this biryani to be basically very, very hot. I'm not that hot. I'm also going to give them some cinnamon sticks and some dried plums. So yeah, um, not all this onion I'm going to use. I'm going to fry it as well. So give it that nice taste once the biryani is done, once the rice is added, basically. So yeah, um, I'm cooking it on a pressure cooker. Gave uh, three cups of oil, some flour oil. So yeah, it's heating up. So the onion and everything else is ready to go in. Stop. So yeah, let's just stir it until it goes brown. Not that much brown, but you don't want to overburn it, but just semi-brown. And um, that's when we basically put the meat in. Okay, it's nearly done. Um, I can smell the cinnamon. I don't know, actually, it actually smells very nice. Here's my meat. Um, it's been in the fridge for around two hours. And it's not, everything's nice and set in. So let's just put this inside here. Now inside the, the pot and um, I'm just gonna let it cook for a little while without covering the cooker. And um, before I do this, I will actually put the dry plums, which I've got, and um, hopefully it should be nice. So, uh, put two tablespoons of butter ghee and I topped up the salt. And um, here is the prawns, uh, sorry, keep pulling our prawns, uh, dry plums. Just 
to put it in there and let it just now settle. So it's all set and um, let's close it up. Yeah, happened in the dishwasher. <laughs> let's close it up and um, yeah, leave it for around 20 to 25 minutes. It's getting cooked. Um, I'm gonna start making the actual rice now. I just took the cover off of the uh, pressure cooker and uh, more or less the meat is already done. And um, yeah, we're making such a hissing noise. <laughs> I think it's gonna explode. But yeah, it's all done. I'm just gonna uh, now let it light, lightly cook. And um, yeah. Once the rice is done, which is nearly done, everything will go into this place. I'm going to let this slowly cook, and um, while I'm here, the rice is nearly done as well. done done and dusted um, so is the basically the rice the rice is all done and dusted as well I'm just waiting to simmer and now I'm basically going to fry up the onions so here's my onions frying them up let's start it Okay, so just before I add the rice and the beef, basically I added some ghee on, on the pan, on the pot actually. So it makes it a bit greasy, so nothing stinks. So now let's layer it up. Near enough, all done. Um, yeah, I've added some coriander and also added uh, some more green chilies. Now we're just gonna mix it up a bit, or maybe I should just leave it like this. Okay, all done. Looks very nice. 
Anyway guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's a bit educational, you know now how to make a biryani, a, a chili, extreme chili beef biryani with lots of chilies. <laughs> anyway, enough of me blabbing on. Um, please do like, comment and subscribe like always and um, yeah, and share it. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, see you later.